In this lab, we are going to investigate what happens when we heat up various substances. The first substance we will heat is sulfur. Sulfur is a fine yellow powder before heating. When we heat it, it starts to become red and melt. You will see eventually that it turns to black, and you'll see yellow and white smoke moving up the test tube. A foul smell of rotting eggs is emitted, and once it's cooled, it'll become a thick black liquid. The next substance is sodium chloride. It's a shiny white crystal. When you heat it, you will see that there is little to no reaction. You may hear a slight popping noise, and after it cools, it's still a shiny white crystal. The next substance is copper carbonate. It starts off as a teal fine powder. You will see that it quickly starts turning into a black powder and you don't see fumes coming off of it. Once it cools, you will notice that there is some water vapor at the top of the tube, but the powder remains black. The next substance is ammonium chloride. It's a white crystal powder before it starts. When you heat it, a white substance starts to form in the top of the test tube. The actual substance clumps together in a solid chunk. The white residue continues to form along the inside of the tube. And once it cools, you will see it stays solid and is a much darker white than when it started, with tones of black throughout the powder. The next substance is zinc oxide. It's a fine white powder. Once you start heating it, it turns yellow and begins to chunk together.
and once it cools, it once again becomes a white powder. The next substance is copper sulfate. You will notice this substance is composed of large blue rocks before we start. You will notice that once you start heating it, the rocks become white and you hear a sizzling noise. Vapor is coming out the top and condensation is forming on the inside of the test tube. The crystals are not sticking together and once it's done, the rocks remain a combination of white and blue. You will notice that sodium chloride did not change when it was heated. You will notice that copper carbonate becomes a new substance because it has permanently changed color. You will also notice that copper sulfate has also made a permanent color change. Heating a substance can help you identify it because it changes in a specific way or by its characteristic property. If you had several white substances and didn't know what they were, you could heat them to see if any of them react in the same way or similar way to zinc oxide sodium chloride or ammonium chloride to see what it was by matching the reaction.